Intense public debate at a Granite Bay High School. Officials have approved a list of controversial materials for use in classrooms. Fox 40's Zach Boeto joining us now live from Granite Bay to explain how things transpired and the issues some parents had, Zach. Nikki, on one side, some say they think it's safer to discuss these contentious topics inside of an educational setting rather than outside of school. On the other side, some say that they want more positive materials and a more balanced curriculum overall. Ultimately, this council decided to leave it up to the teachers. Give our students the right to read. Literature is one of the cornerstones in American classrooms. However, some say the topics of discussion have become more controversial. And in Granite Bay, people filled the high school cafeteria to have that conversation and take action. I think they made the right decision. Students, staff, and parents for the last few weeks have gone back and forth discussing certain books. But tonight, the Granite Bay High School Site Council voted to approve a list of these books. I think the motion's passed. <laughs> It's important that we have things in our curriculum that allow us to have a diversity of opinions and um, breed understanding and critical thinking. Students say it's important for them to read these topics and talk about them freely and openly. Just by limiting these, you almost limit the students' ability to explore and embrace new perspectives. The Granite Bay High School Site Council voted unanimously to approve this controversial book list, but those not on board say they didn't want a complete ban. We just wanted some balance. We want some alternative, um, you know, uh, materials in there. We want to hear stories of success and leadership and hope and love and friendship and positive things. Many who spoke against approval say they just want the decision to be postponed so they could have more time to review the materials. However, some said there was an underlying negativity in these books that could be a trigger for some students going through difficult times. They could be sitting in class. There could be students in, sitting in class thinking of suicide. Currently being sexually abused, you know, currently being raped that can't speak out. And sitting in class and having those discussions, they relive their trauma. And um, that makes that conversation really hard. Ultimately, the council decided to put the trust in the teachers. I think the way to create curriculum is to let your experts, who are the people who are professionals in that area, do what they do. And if they ever step out of line, we have processes with which to handle those things. Although this list of books is now approved, Many hope the conversation continues. And you can find a list of those materials in question on our website at fox40.com. Reporting live from Granite Bay, Zach Boeto, Fox 40 News.